what's up guys welcome back to the channel i'm here i'm here today and i want to show you something um you know what you've been waiting on it i've been waiting to show you guys so let's roll that footage <music> Right, guys so what you think <laughs> some of you guys guessed it right some guys went left with it hey i appreciate the guys who went left because normally i would go left but in this instant i just could go left man listen i'm a harley guy i have nothing against anybody else or indian or anything else but i'm a harley guy let me tell you my whole process and I'm going to just introduce you to the bike. That's all I'm going to go do. I'm going to show you the bike and I'm going to introduce you to the 2021 Road Glide Special. Guys, there it is. There it is, the 2021 Road Glide Special and Snake Venom. All right, the sun is shining really hard, so the bike is going to look a green to you. You might be able to see where a little bits of it is flipping colors um this bike is like three different colors and depending on the light it has a a lot of i'm sorry if i'm blinding you guys but it has a lot of flake in the paint job let me say this harley's painters these guys are ridiculous with their paint jobs man i mean I, i'm talking about ever since my twisted cherry i've been impressed with these guys because every time they hit they like knock it out of the park I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it now, but geez louise. I mean, all the way down to this one that they put here. So watch this. There's really no badging on here, okay? There's no physical badging, but the badging is still, is just painted into the bike. So you got your one down here. You got your Harley Davidson sign right there. And it says custom paint in it. And then you have your other Harley number one on the bike. So guys, so let me tell you how this all happened, how it all came about. So, this bike hadn't been on the radar at all, okay? It took for me to go to the dealership to actually see this bike in person, and the, um, the sales manager actually had to bring the bike outside for me to even say, okay, let me, let me really look at this bike. Now, there was another bike that was the, um, it's called Midnight Crimson, and I looked at it, and I know you guys saw me sit on that bike and a few guys said that's the one he's buying but you know I just thought it was really close to the last color that I already had so I figured I need to go something different now another thing I'm not a flashy guy so I kind of thought this bike was a little flashy in the beginning you guys tell me what you think I thought it was a little flashy until okay there's a spot where the bike just stands and stays in one color okay when that happens I appreciate it but then when I move around it I even appreciate it a little bit more because it's not flashy it's just like it's poking his chest out at that point right so we're going from a 107 engine to a 114 now let me come on this side and show you guys now they come with a new air cleaner with the new 114s as well as remember the ones that used to just be open in the front of the air cleaner all right big selling points for me 114 engine because i came from a 107 and then the radio the new uh i think it's the boom gts that radio is a sick radio now i know it's been out since 2019 but i didn't know it was that far advanced than the ones that came in the 18 now all my guys that got 18 and older uh street glides and road glides do not feel like you need to turn around and just go out and buy a whole new bike like I did. There was more reasons why I bought the bike at the end of the day. And I'll even go over a few. So, besides the engine and besides the radio, because I thought even about putting a 128 engine in my street glide. But when you do stuff like that, you know, 
you, you're taking a chance with longevity of the motor. Some guys are good motor builders. Some guys are just, you know, maybe just starting out and not as good. But, you know, I don't even want to take the chance. The radio part, yeah, I had to upgrade it one way or another. I didn't know if I was going to get the Sony radios or, you know, just do what I did and buy a whole nother bike. <laughs> but anyway, guys, um, let, me, let me start from another uh, aspect of this. So, remember, when I was on the street glide, I was driving a little more upright. I'm a little more aggressive riding style. Um, still a good bike, still a good cruising bike. But I felt like at the end of the day, now that I'm on a Harley, I want to sit back a little bit more and I want to cruise a little bit more. And I really don't want to, I don't want to take the position of having to, you know, give up a little um, comfortability just to you know maybe have more uh, feel with the road i do like to feel the road i do like to be in control but at the same time i kind of want to relax i'm not really a guy right now that does a lot of speeding i'm not trying to be in a lot of traffic so i'm kind of feeling like okay i can like i can let that go right now i can go back more to you know something that you buy a harley for you know the enjoyment of the ride the 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 whole you know, taking long distance rides and, and not, you know, feeling like you're sore after the ride. So again, the road glide actually showed me after I took a test ride on a buddy's bike that this is kind of the way to go. It's more of an upright sit back style of riding. Yes, everything's a more away from you, but that's to give you the space. It's usually for a bigger guy. Now, if you're a bigger guy here or you're a bigger guy here, that road glide is still why they push everything away from you. I'm pretty sure that's the reason why, guys. Uh, a few other things. I like the wheels on the bike. Let's turn you back around. I like the wheels on the bike. They really complement everything on the bike. They complement the color. They complement the forks. They complement all everything black on this bike. And if you look at the back wheel... It, it even seems like it just shows a little bit more than on my 18. I'm probably just used to seeing my back wheel look like, you know, a whole bunch of spokes. And this is just different. But it just looks like it shows you more of the wheel. Now, you guys already see, I've done some upgrades to the bike. Now, they just came off my street glide, so I just swapped them over pretty much. I put new LED lights in. The turn signals i left the other ones on the street glide i know the guy who actually has a street glide and i'm happy that he bought it because he got himself a good bike uh highway pegs swapped over from the street glide um new grips these grips i bought new some things i just prefer to buy new overused i did bring my seat over still very comfortable seat I bought my docking hardware for my back seat and my back seat rest. And I bought my slip-ons on over those Vance and Hines on over to this bike. Now, will I be keeping everything that I swapped over? And eh, some of it I will, some of it I won't. You guys will see later on, with, you know, the plans that I'm going to do with this bike. I'm not going to make this bike very gaudy. So don't think that I'm even going that route. Don't think that this bike is just going to be a show bike. Um, it's still going to be something that I can get on a ride, something that I'm going to keep clean, something that's probably going to be a very classy look to it. Um, that's just one of those things. That's just me, though. You know what I mean? Now, the axle nuts, I did swap over. Those were immediate because I don't like the way it looks without them. And I did the heel shifter. I don't like tearing up my shoes, so I'm a heel shifter kind of guy. Other than that, guys, I think this bike probably suits me a little bit better just because of the riding style that i'm really getting into over what i was used to remember i came from the sport bike world i think more sport bike guys may enjoy the street bike ride for a while but then the road glide ride is gonna take over i'm happy with the buy if anybody else has seen these bikes in person tell me what you think about the paint job tell me how you like it because i i'm in love with this thing all of a sudden man it didn't hit me until later on after i he got the bike out of the shop and then i was like that's mine i gotta have it yeah. 
I'm officially a road glide guy. So, hey guys, drop all your comments down in the comment section. Please subscribe. Hit the like button if you liked it. Hit that notification bell because I got some videos coming soon. We're gonna do, we're gonna, we're gonna start moving very quickly on this bike. All right, guys. But until the next time, peace.